I can tell you with almost 100% certainty that this class is the reason that I got jobs that I did. Hey guys, what's up? If you're new here, my name is Jocelyn. If not, welcome back to the channel. For the last month or so, I've been wanting to make a video on all of the classes that I've taken at MIT and just kind of talk about which classes I liked, which classes I hated, and what I would do differently if I could go back and retake all my classes all over again. Just last week, I saw Nina Wang released a video on ranking her MIT classes using Tier Master. So that's what I'm going to be using to rank my classes. Nina is a freshman at MIT, and so I highly recommend you go follow her channel. I'll link it in the bio. I ranked mine on a scale from so much love to pretty decent. It existed, which is where I'm just going to put all classes where like I literally have no opinion on it or forgot I took it all together. Hate it and legit dropping out because there were classes that made me want to leave the institute. For a little background on myself before I start, I just finished my junior year at MIT and I am a 614, which is computer science, economics, and data science major. Everyone at MIT also needs a Haas concentration, which is the humanities concentration, and I am concentrating in creative writing. So you're going to see a lot of classes in computer science, econ, and writing. We'll start with freshman year and move forward. First up is 1801, which is Calc 1. I was not a big fan of this class because I just felt like it was really poorly taught, really boring. They were basically assuming everything with prior knowledge, which obviously from in that class is not, but like not horrible. So I'm going to move it into it existed. Next class after that, I took 801L, so the his civics mechanical. Basically 801 is a regular mechanics class and 801L is a class for kids who either aren't good enough at physics or aren't good enough at math to get into the regular physics class. It like took more time and like went slower on all the material and stuff. I kind of like this class. I felt like I had a pretty good grasp of what was going on. The professor was chill. So moving 801L to the pretty decent tier. Also something to note is that 801L shows up on your transcript just as 801. So no one that you're like in applying to jobs and stuff is gonna know this is the easy version of physics and unless you post on the internet. Also, my freshman year, I took 7016, which is bio. Everyone's required to take one bio class. I chose bio with like a focus on genetics. And once again, like this class was fine. I didn't think it was that interesting. I was on PNR, so nothing was graded because no one graded their first semester. So we got through it and it was chill. Once more, it existed. The only other class I took that semester was my writing class because everyone had to take a communication intensive half class their first year. So I took 21W.011, which is writing and rhetoric, through like contemporary issues, I think. And I really loved this class a lot. The professor was so nice. And she like really cared about all the students and I enjoy writing essays, so. So much love. That takes us forward to freshman spring. Freshmen nowadays are allowed to take three of their general institute requirements on PNR, regardless of whether it's in their first semester or not. But I was not. I had to take 802, which is civics, electricity, and magnetism on grades, and I was just not good at it. This was not my forte. Like, I spent a lot of time hanging out with the professor, trying to, like, figure out how to pass, like, getting, like, extra tutoring. Made it through, but didn't go great. 802 is also one of the classes that's taught in teal format at our school. Basically, you have to talk in a group and, like, work and do, like, discussion-based things, and not good for my anxiety, let me tell you. So 802 hated it. Actually, worse than hated it, we're putting this legit dropping out. That class made me cry more times than I cared about. I also took 1802 that semester, which was Calc 2, and this class was just like so well taught. The professor so obviously cared so much for all the students, and even though I still don't love math, I like that class, so we're gonna go to pretty decent. Next up, chemistry, which is 511. I hated chemistry. I don't know why I hated chemistry so much. I actually really liked chemistry in high school, but I just like did not at this school. So we're going to hate it. The only good thing about chemistry that I was taking that was Kylie, who's like one of my best friends. And I would try and get her to ditch class every single day and she wouldn't let me. So shout out Kylie for letting me pull that B in chemistry, but also no props Kylie because we could have been ditching class and going to eat pizza every single day. So pros and cons. Final class that I took my freshman year was 600. It is our intro coding class. And I love this class, let me tell you. So fun. I really enjoy coding and made me completely change majors and decide to be a coding major, so, so much love. We have an IAP session, which is a winter term, between our fall and spring semesters. So freshman IAP, I decided to take the intro intro coding class that we offered. When I took it, it was called 6S080. I think it's called 6145 now. I decided to take this class and it kind of just brushed up my coding skills because I had taken one semester, I think, of coding in high school. 
and so I'd recommend this class just because if you jump straight into the intro, it goes way too fast. And so this is kind of like a nice slow introduction, and it's also if you're a freshman still on PNR. And I would rate that really, really highly because I felt like it was fun. I enjoyed doing it every single day. So let's put it there. So up until this point, I've basically taken 100% GIRs except for 600, which is the first in major course that I took. And a lot of that is because I didn't get out of a single GIR. So a lot of people have like one or two less GIRs to take than what I did. If you're one of the people like me who goes in with tons of classes to take, I would recommend trying to get your GIRs out of the way. I know a lot of people do try and take at least one class like in their major freshman fall so that way they can get out of the way on PNR. But honestly, I don't think you learn as well that way, at least that's my personal opinion. You do have extra room in your schedule, sure, take a major class, but you're not behind and so don't feed into that pressure because you are going to graduate on time, even if you're not forcing in major classes early. Moving on to sophomore year. So sophomore fall, I started taking classes in my major and so all the classes that I took were like pretty intro classes in my major. I had already decided at this point that I wanted to be a 614, so here we go. First class I took, 1430, which intro to statistics and economics. I think this class was so poorly taught. I got a 24% on the final and a B in the class, and one of my friends got a 32 on the final and it was an A. So like, tell me how that happened. Like, that's just straight up poor teaching. I don't know. I don't understand why. Normally the econ department is really great. This class, not it. But it's mandatory, you have to take it, so we're gonna move it to hate it. Also that semester, I took 6042, which is the discrete mathematics class that we have to take. This is also mandatory. Some parts of it were really, really interesting. Other parts of it sucked. Overall, about average. I think it was very interesting to be in kind of my first ever computer science E math class and definitely way better than regular math classes, but way more heavy on the proofs. Let's move that to it. For half classes that semester, I took 21L004, which is reading poetry. So I don't know why I took this. In high school, I hated poetry, but all of a sudden I was just like, hey, you know what? I kind of want to get into more like reading poetry, analyzing poetry. And I love this class. The professor was so nice. It made me like really care about poetry a lot because we didn't try and find the deeper meanings in everything unless it was really readily present. We just talked about kind of how it made us feel as individuals. And I think that's a lot more real than finding like the correct deeper meaning. And so it really like brought my love for poetry back. So it was pretty decent. So also that semester I took 6009. This is our like more advanced coding class. It's pretty much as far up in like the coding world as you can go at MIT. There's one more class harder than it, but I'm personally not gonna take it. This was not required for my major, but I did decide to take it because I wanted to go more in depth into the coding and I 12 out of 10 would recommend. I think this should be required for your major. Love the class, love figuring things out. Spent a, way too much time in office hours for this class and still loved it. So, so much love. Probably my favorite class that I've taken at MIT so far. That brings us to sophomore fall. So sophomore fall, I took a really, really hard schedule. I took four technical classes, which is probably ill-advised, but I like truly believe that I could do it. Moderate success, I would say. My grades weren't excellent, but like I completed them all. I'm happy with how I did, so. First off, 6036, that's machine learning. I don't think I learned how to machine learn in this class. I learned a lot about gradient descent, got through it, hated it, never want to go back to it again. That class was also teal format legit dropping out. Next, 1806. 1806 is supposed to be linear algebra, but the professor that was taking it when I was taking it decided to turn it into a learning Julia class. And now, if you guys haven't heard Julia, the programming language that was invented at MIT, and so my professor literally invented Julia. And so he was really excited about all the cool things that Julia could do. So he spent all class learning to like make matrices in Julia and use Julia but I still don't know how to actually do linear algebra. So, hate it. Next, intro to algorithms, which is 6006. I really enjoyed this class. I think it's pretty difficult, tons of writing proofs, but you learn a lot about how to think. And I can tell you with almost 100% certainty that this class is the reason that I got jobs that I did and it just teaches you tons of really good interviewing skills in a really indirect way just because of the way like it teaches you to think and so for me i found that really helpful i enjoy doing the logic to write the proofs and figuring things out so really like that class it's going to go to pretty decent 
and the fourth class that I took that semester was 1401, which is microeconomics. So let me talk a little bit about this. So microeconomics is our intro econ class at MIT. So lots of people actually do take this class because it does count as a humanities requirement. But because I'm a 614, I was taking it as an in-major class. In this class, I learned that I actually didn't love economics and that like really discouraged me. It was super mathematical. And so I'm just gonna move this to the it existed tier. I thought it was fine, but like it did kind of discourage me and make me wonder if I was cheating the wrong major. I also wanna note that I took this sophomore spring and I think this was way too late to take my first econ class considering I was an econ major. So if you're a 614, I would recommend taking it at the latest sophomore fall because that really did limit the choices that I have for classes moving forward because in the economics department, there's a lot of classes that are either only available in spring or only available in fall. And so there's some classes that I literally like can't take anymore because I didn't have the prereqs met in time. Like I just messed up my whole schedule. So take 1401 earlier if you're a 614. So now moving into my junior year, which is the year I just completed. So junior fall, I actually ended up only taking three classes due to like slight malfunctions. This one of the classes that I was taking junior fall was a really rough year for me so you're just gonna have to let it happen but anyways junior fall I ended up taking 1441 which is public policy and economics that class was literally amazing and made me stop regretting choosing econ as much as I did so this class was taught by John Gruber who is he used to work for the Obama administration like really really great economist and genuinely just cares a lot about teaching he makes all of his lectures super interesting. So I'm gonna move 1441 to so much loved here because it made me stop regretting choosing econ as my major. I also took 1432 this semester, which is econometrics and is like the sequel follow-up class to 1430, which I previously stated I hated. But 1432 was taught by someone else and this professor, she was just truly lovely. She really cared about students. She taught things in a really good, easy to understand way. I did much better in this class. I enjoyed this class. You learn to use Stata in that class, which is super cool. Stata is a programming language for data analytics, and I think it'll be super helpful to my future life. So yeah, this class didn't love it, but didn't hate it, so we're going to move it to existence. I also took 21W.755, which is reading and writing short stories. So I took this class because I did really want to write my own fiction and kind of see how that was going to work out for me. But one thing I didn't love about this class was that we didn't really write in class, but we did write out of class and I think we discussed a lot of cool stories, so pretty decent. And finally, the semester I just currently ended, I took five classes this semester to make up for the three from last semester, so I had kind of a lot to do. The first class we're going to talk about is 6046. This is Design Analysis of Algorithms, and if you guys watch my finals vlog, which will be linked, you will know that I did not like this class, I struggled a lot in this class, like worked so, 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 so hard for the grades that I got in this class. I think it taught me a lot, yes, and I think the way it teaches you to think is super impressive, but it just like didn't vibe well with me, it made me cry a lot, we're moving it to legit dropping out. I also took 21W.738, which is memoir. I really enjoyed this class. I think the professor cared a lot about her students and like the way she taught us to talk about memoir was really, really cool. And we did a ton of writing in the actual class itself. So 12 out of 10, moving it to so much love. Next up, psychology and economics. This is another class that just the professor cared a lot. It was very interesting. I learned so much about the way we break traditional economic models. Really enjoyed it, pretty decent. Next, 15276. This is communicating with data. So at MIT, every student is required to take two communication classes within their major, and this is the very first one I have taken. And I'm someone that hates presenting. I don't want to talk in front of groups. I just like, not for me. But that being said, I think I'm decently good at it. So the class did go well for me because even though I hate it, I'm good at it and have found ways to like not let my anxiety freeze me up when I'm up there. But because I do have a lot of presentation anxiety, like this class stressed me out going to every day, not a fan, so we're gonna move it to hate it. And that brings us to our very last class, 15053, which is optimization methods and business analytics. In this class, you learn how to like write optimization formulas and stuff. We did everything in Julia, which previously stated a lot of hatred for Julia because my professor from 1806. So I hated the fact that it was in Julia, but I think this time 
there was actually like good reason for using the Juliet and so I actually was interested in the class I really enjoyed it and I think potentially if we had not gone remote I would have gotten a lot more out of the class but regardless I still thought it was really good I liked the professor a lot so we're gonna move it to pretty decent as well and that's all I have so I only have about five and a half more units worth of classes to take when I think of those, like three of them are classes where like they're the mandatory thing that I have to do and the other one they're all just elective. So this is pretty much the entire 614 schedule, except for my little snafu with 1401. I really like the way I went about taking my classes. I would recommend trying to like spread out half classes a bit more within your schedule because I do have like three more half classes that I'm going to have to take in my last semester. So I didn't have to like have semester before technical that was like super unnecessary. All of that hopefully you take away from advice and if you guys have any more questions about any of these classes make sure you let me know. I'm gonna try and make a lot more MIT focused MIT class content so make sure you subscribe for that and let me know what other videos you want to see and what you want to hear me talk about next. Like this video. Likes actually are super important so are subscribed so please hit the buttons and I will see you next Wednesday with another video. Bye. <laughs>